today we will be playing as the star federation uh we started out with a little small combat fleet just because you know i'm fed up of starting with one ship i'm getting i'm getting too old to start with just one ship and fucking do the same fucking thing 50 times of trying to make money uh yeah and the goal is to basically make the star federation the strongest faction in the game now, I've kind of removed quite a few factions. Uh, I think we've still got, like, uh, the usual suspects, like the Iron Shell, the HMI, the bullshit pirates. Uh, but that's about it, really. I took, like, the VIC out. I've taken loads of factions out. We're just going to keep it simple. Uh, take took the UAF out because I, I'm convinced they're the ones that keep breaking my shit. Derek Empire. <laughs> No, I'm not doing that shit again. I'm fed up with Derelict Empires. Although in my last video that I did with it, I did eat a hell of a lot of sushi whilst doing that recording, so I was quite happy during that. <laughs> I think I spent more time eating sushi than actually playing the game in that video. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. Bada boom, bada bing, something like that. But anyway, let's crack on with some Star Sector. Uh, we started out with 75 grand as well. Um, if you remember correctly with the Star uh, Star Federation system, uh, there is two independent planets, and then there's only three Star Federation planets. Uh, usually what happens with the Star Federation is, I don't know, they usually join like an alliance with Tritech. Although well, obviously we're still ally allied with the Persian League, Tritech, and Independence. And our known enemies to start the game with is Ludic Path, Ninth Battle Group, and Pirates. But usually that derails into being at war with the hedge normally 99% of the time because it is pretty much everyone versus the hedge. Every, everyone knows that. That's just basic star sector shenanigans. It's It just derails into fucking carnage and everyone tries to fight the hegemony and dies. You might as well join the pirates but you still can. <laughs> oh, but we've done that before. The Starfed is not the Weebs. The Starfed are the empire that's based off the game FTL. So all their ships are very, very cool. It's the ones where they have the, uh, was it like Rebellion class battleship, if I remember correctly? I think that's what it's called. And it's that big fucking ship, which I stuck loads of Reapers on and fucked everyone up in, in the pirate video. That was, that was probably my favorite ship design. Still is my favorite ship design. Uh, but yeah, first things first, let's, uh, let's grab some more ships. What have they got for sale? Okay, what have they got for sale? What they actually want to sell me, because apparently they don't... I need to be cooperative to buy a big old battleship. Not that I have the money for it anyway. Uh, too fair, I don't think there's really a lot here on this planet to buy, so... What about on the main planet? No, 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 it's where we were. What, is this a different station? Eh, no. Alright, let's go down to Riot Station down here, see if they've got any ships, anything. If not, the next thing we'll be doing is looking for quests and see if people want to give me jobs. Uh, don't evade, waste your supply and time, just saturate your bomb them to death. That, that, that is a good idea, we could do that just uh remove their existence that usually works <laughs> um i'm sure i'm trying to stick gonna try and stick to primarily using star federation ships this run as well just for that extra bit of spice i mean we could get a little carrier um sure why not let's get let's get a little carrier we're bought on the black market it has free fighter bays so that'll be that that'll be nice uh, but judging by the fact I only have 22k, I don't think I'm going to be able to afford the fighters for this fucking thing. What does that want to run with? Uh, Blaze fighters. Ha, uh, unique drone fighter with a tiny phase core. Okay, I don't want phase fighters. What are you? I want, like... Look. Hmm... Heavy fight. Uh, maybe blaze fighters are probably the best ones here, to be fair. Or midline fighters. Alright, let's go fight. Let's just top up on crew. Yeah. Just go start running down, uh, run down the uh, carrier spam doctrine, right? 
Works every time. You can never go wrong with carrier spam. Where's Rob making toy? Look, I can't even... I don't even know how to explain what I do. <laughs> I am not good with tutorials. <laughs> I, I, I tried it with that, like, uh, how to make a drug empire video, and I feel like I did not achieve anything in that video, except from making a lot of drugs. Uh, Dagger Torpedo Bomb is here, actually. These are pretty fucking good, if I remember correctly. So we're going to grab a set of those, and we have, like, no money anymore, so we're going to have to wait a little bit. We're just gonna do the spend our first month just chilling and waiting for that first faction paycheck and then actually go and do something. I missed a corn empire. Corn empire was a good meme. One of those early memes that I made in the channel. If I remember correctly, I think I was trying to make what, like a hundred thousand corn or something like that? And uh, it was just on the release of Red Dead 2 or, or around the release of it because I remember there's like a Lenny meme in it. <laughs> Fans of comms and tons of shit, small species, North Action, more writing, more la 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 la. Ha! Huh. I. Hmm. No. Maybe. Maybe I need to look into this. But for now, we will just be keeping it simple. I used to play some of like old school FTL to be fair. I haven't played I haven't played FTL in months. And you FTL originally was the game that got me through college. <laughs> all I used to play all I used to do at college was just sitting around and playing FTL. That's all I did. So that it will forever have a special place in my heart. Alright, well there's our first paycheck. I know, and it was like one of the only things that could run on like the college computers as well. So it, it, it was just a great time. To be fair, we could just go for two... Fuck it, we're going for two... No, we should put... Let's keep it sensible. Let's actually have... <laughs> let's actually have some fighters. Uh, you need drone for... No. Well, there isn't really anything here, to be fair. Ah, fuck it. Let's just go for two sets of bombers. Who needs who needs sensible designs when you can just go for lots of high-tech bombers instead? That's always a good idea. When has that ever failed a man? Alright, let's get ourselves topped up on a bit on fuel and supplies. Uh, see what's going on in the world. See if the Star Federation have any work. So they actually got a bounty out here, which I think we'll go and do. I'm going to primarily just try and stick to doing Star Federation stuff. And then after, if there's nothing else, I'll do stuff from the bars and shit like that. But we have a uh, bounty here uh, <laughs> for Uranus. <laughs> uh, it's, it's not funny. It's a notorious pirate. And he is in a dwarf primary star, so I'm guessing it's like around there somewhere. I reckon we can take him with our four ships, but you know, safety first. As as a uh, experienced content creator, I know the uh, importance of taking lots of sla uh, slaves, uh, saves. <laughs> um, uh, yes, a lot, lots of saves <laughs> before doing anything, <laughs> just in case uh, the game crashes. Uh, I'm playing since... <laughs> yes. Slavery 35. I've been playing way too much RimWorld. That's my problem. My mind is being corrupted by the... Uh, by, by RimWorld. I've always... Every, every time I play RimWorld, I just get into a really bad mindset of just... You know... <laughs> I must... Everything will be horrific. We'll talk about... Absolutely not. <laughs> Alright, well, there's my bounty. Straight away. Here we go. Mr. Uranus is uh, going to be brought to justice. It's apparently only a 1% battle difficulty, so I think we should be all right. 
but we'll see, we'll see about that because uh, I'm a little bit rusty because I haven't played this game in a long time. So uh, let's start with everyone just donking on their main ship here. So we actually have... Um, this ship's pretty good. We have a lot. We have fast missile racks. So uh, yeah, we can just sort of spam out a ton of uh, whatever missiles these are and just watch everyone die. Yeah, they, they didn't really stand a chance, thank you. Yeah. Pirates bringing junker ships against high-tech Star Federation fleets does not go very well for them. Love a great rack. I love a great mister. <laughs> I love a great rack as well. Especially one that can fire very quickly and launches a lot of missiles. Oh, hey, oh, those bombers were a very good idea as well. Except from the ones that missed. They will be uh, shot. You know, that's actually a really good fight. Augmented drive field straight away. <laughs> that's actually a really good find. Especially from a load of junkers. What the hell were they doing with that? But that's good because that's a nice comfortable 49k made straight away from killing Uranus. And uh, a 2,100 as well from Star Federation bounty. I'm actually going to have like a little look around. This is streamer loot. Yeah, yeah, streamer luck. You know me. All the time. I'm actually going to have a little look around this system though. Since this is a low warning beacon. We might as well have a little gander. Kill some remnant scum. Prove to them that I am the best high tech and they suck. Right. Right. Come on. Kill them. Please. Please. <laughs> there you go. Uh, what the hell is that? Oh, yeah. I. Okay, this is a moment where you can all finally be proud of me. Yeah? I finally updated my mods. Or oh, a few of them. Look. Relic components. Ship components. They have updated sprites. Uh... I'm, I'm expecting like a round of applause here, but I'm not seeing it. Uh, all right, we don't need that. It's okay. It's just okay. Oh my god! <laughs> a minor supply cache, and the first thing I get is a sky splitter. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is going to be a really good run. <sighs> I don't want to brag, but I've forgotten like how good, like as a content creator, like how good I am to get sky splitters like sky split blueprint straight away from a minor supply cache i've just forgotten like how much skill like irradiates off me <laughs> now i i think uh, to be honest i think i'm probably just gonna sell the blueprint to be honest and i'd rather pocket the cash than the ability to make sky splitters ah, that's busted we don't need it Exactly. This is a moment where you can all... This is a moment where I am to be considered the big time streamer, please. Also, I definitely just stole someone's wallet. So I'm going to be chased by a big bad set of pirates in a second. Uh, six harvested organs. Let's just... Uh, oh, we're over cargo capacity here. Let's bin off all this metal. I don't even know why I still pick up. Is that a tyrant? What the fuck? Seriously? A tyrant they want to throw at me now? No, I, I'm not I'm not taking it. I'll, I'll come back for that in a bit. Is that a battle cruiser as well? Oh my god. High-tech battle cruiser. Alright, we're not scrapping that either. We'll come back for that later as well. Fucking Christ. God. It's so good being able to have the ability to uh being this good. <laughs> Alright, we're going to come back for those in a bit, I think. In the meantime, we should probably... Is there anything else lurking around here? There's a troop ship over there. Or a GP. Like I said, I, I, there's a mining station here. And orbital habitat. But I will come back for those in a bit. There's a tanker there. Is that... 
All right, so it's not even that busted. It's only got increased maintenance, so we'll snipe that up. Uh, there's a mud skipper there. Now that is a that is a good find. That is, I do I do like a mud skipper, but we will scrap that because we we don't need to we don't need to hold on to power like that right now. Right, well uh, let's let's run back to our Federation base because this has been an incredibly lucky find. I don't want to lose all this stuff. And I want to get back to base, save it, and then I can be like, I'm the greatest Star Sector player of them all. All right, so that was there. Totally not scripted, we believe you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually, um, I actually had my partner as a programmer, like, program in uh, my all, all this stuff so I, I can start off on the right foot. <laughs> You know, I, 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 obviously I've edited this all in just to make myself look really good as a player. <laughs> hmm. All right. Okay, first things first, let's just uh, get rid of these harvested organs that I've got and all this other crap. Usually I take a stockpile of weapons, but they all kind of suck. Um, let's get rid of the relic components, ship components. Hey man, I appreciate the tier 1 sub for two months as well. Thank you very much. Uh, now, the real question is, do we sell the Sky Splitter blueprint on the black market and give it pirates access to Sky Splitters? Or do we just sell it on the open market and play it safe? That's that's the question we got to ask ourselves now. What 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 do you guys think? This this is this is up to you. Do we sell it on the black market to maximize our profits, or do we uh, <laughs> play it safe? Obviously, buy all the uh, black market, black market. Hey man, appreciate the uh, in spirit as well. Thanks for the tier one sub. Thank you very much. Open market. Nightmare as fucking hell. Nightmare as well with the Twitch Prime. Jesus. And pin as well with the two mums. Thank you. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Open market. I'd black market for chaos. Black market. Pirates give me more. All right. You guys said it. Let's go out on the black market, baby. Gives us a. Total of 336,000 credits. So we could actually buy some, you know, pretty spicy ships now. Uh, right, first thing we want to do, though, is we're probably going to get searched. There it is. Oh, they want to inspect me. No! Exactly. It's actually all a big tactical plan because selling it on the black market gives... It might give the pirates access to the sky splitter, but it means that I can just salvage it off them now. When I kick their ass in battle. Right, because we got a lot of, sh uh, a lot of stuff over in that last system, we should probably pick up some freighters and head over there. Uh, freighters and some salvage ships and salvage all of that up, to be honest. So we got a salvage rig straight away. Thank you very much. That's, uh, that's just easy money. And they got a drone tender there. So I'm going to grab that as well. Get some utility ships in. It was quite handy as well. Augmented dry field. So that pushes my salvage ship all the way up to 10 burn. Which is nice. These thing, little drone tenders. I, I just... I, I don't really care what you're going to have built on you to be honest. Just have whatever you want. Obviously, auxiliary fuel tanks for you. And did I pick up efficiency overhaul? I don't think I did. I think that's on the other system, other planet. Let's head back over to Rider Station. Grab myself a load of... Uh, hopefully, if they've got efficiency overhaul, I can make shit cheaper to run. Which is what I like. Nope, but they have got a couple of other mod specs. Oh, wow, I'm picking up, like, all the mod specs straight away. <laughs> We're going to have every mod spec in the game. Uh, right. Just 
top up on crew. Yeah, it's the strat, isn't it? Just give pirates all the overpowered ships, and then it just means that when you get a pirate raid, you can just kill them easy, and then you have all the overpowered ships, right? It's a simple strategy. Uh, Star Federation rather swats an empire super heavy weapon emplacement. So we could go for a ship with a large ballistics and a weapon charger, which reduces flux cost and increases the weapon's fire rate. Or we could just continue saving up and just buy ourselves a capital ship. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea. But I feel like it'd be a bit cheap if I just started... <laughs> if I just bought myself, like, you know, a rebellion right at the start of the game and then just roamed around with one of those. Let's grab another bomber destroyer. This one's... Uh, what's this problem? This one has unreliable subsystems. This one has structural damage. Actually, no, let's go with the Bravo Gun Destroyer. Why not? This thing, large ballistic slot, talking my sort of language. We could put a Giga Scrap Shot on it or an Assault Gun. Well, I'm more of an Assault Gun kind of guy. And then having... Because uh, we're going to be fighting mostly low-tech stuff to start with. We'll stick an Assault Gun on it for more anti-armor. Get IEDs. <laughs> I don't think the uh, Star Federation use IEDs. <laughs> You know, I don't think uh, I don't think they're part. It's part of their arsenal. Uh, let's grab some of these Nix cans as well. I kind of like these guns, and then just some Vulcans for if anything gets closed, it can at least smash the shit out of anything that comes near us. Um, but we could just ram safety overrides on it. No, not a good idea. Weak faction. Absolutely not. We love the Star Federation. The Star Federation are great. Let's grab Flux Distributor and probably just play it safe with some reinforced bunkheads, to be honest. Let's give this ship a spin. It's probably not going to be the best designed ship in the world. Mostly because that. <laughs> mostly because I designed it. Hmm. It works. It can. It's got. It's got. It's got some dacker on it. Yeah, with well, the weapon overdrive. Actually, I think it probably could use uh, thrusters instead, just to get it wrapped around quicker. That's why I think actually bin off the reinforced bunkheads. Get the auxiliary thrusters on it, so it can has a little bit more maneuverability. Extended magazines. Nothing uses. Uh, nothing has a magazine, so we're not going to need extended magazines. Oh. oh, yeah, I forgot this ship has like a ton of missiles. Yeah, it kind of works. Don't worry about the fact that it's overdry, overloaded. It kind of works, all right. That's all you need to know. Uh, <laughs> it, it's it's a perfect. It's a flawless design. Probably not the uh, greatest of ships in the world, I won't lie. Also, this Fumper can go away. Fumpers, I, I don't like Fumpers. It's probably... Hmm. We could just stick a chain gun on it. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stick a massive... Let's just stick a chain gun on this ship. Can't, you can never go wrong with a chain gun. Right? Chain gun... Lots of uh, lots of missiles. You can't go wrong with that strategy. Although maybe a chain gun might be a little bit too much, uh, too much dacker on this ship. Keep throwing. Maybe it needs more anti shield, but it does have the two scrap shots on it. Hmm. Let's just stick a heavy auto cannon on it. Let's play it safe. Play it safe. It worked. It worked for five seconds. That, 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 that's my mindset when building a ship. If it work, if it stays alive for about ten seconds in combat, it's a good ship. Uh, right, crew. Lots of crew. Shut a thumper. We're kind of bullshit. 
look, all right, sometimes you just need to, you know, sometimes you just need to turn the dacker down. You know what I'm saying? Right, this logistical ship as well is amazing from the Star Fed. Uh, basically, it's it's got a salvage gantry. It's got surveying equipment. It's it's, it's beautiful. Uh, what it also needs is expanded cargo holds, please. There we go. Uh, we got enough crew. We need a bit more crew. Top me up to 300. Give me about 70 heavy machinery. And I definitely could use a storage ship. Uh... No. Have we got any traders? No. Always more Dakar. So if I usually follow the um the uh the DACA is always best mindset, but I have come to the conclusion, right? Now I'm 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 sorry if this will upset some of you, but I hope you're ready for this information. But I have to admit, as much as I love throwing missiles at people, uh hitting them with massive amounts of big DACA guns. There is nothing more satisfying than sitting there with a high-tech ship with lasers which, you know, just keep disabling them, basically. Just disable all of their guns, their engines, their shields, and you just sit there and zap them to death and watch them slowly die. That is the most satisfying thing in this game, I think. Basically, I just like disabling people is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> anyway let's um let's march on let's go and head to that system and salvage all of those mining stations and uh all that sort of shit first time catching your streams i love how you are a subscriber Oh, you subscribed nine minutes ago. I was going to say, I thought you had just joined the stream. <laughs> you weren't even... And you were already a subscriber. No, well, yeah. Enjoy your uh, time watching. I, I hope you do. All right, this station... Uh, I, I kind of probably should have picked up a bit more fuel heading out here. Because I definitely do not have enough fuel to get back. So we're kind of rolling on... We're going to be... It's going to be profitable or we're going to die. I was lurking on your YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah, well... You mean that dead piece of shit that I haven't uploaded? Actually, I take that back. I uploaded today. Uh, that, <laughs> but just roll with it for the meme. That, you know, that dead piece of shit that I don't upload to anymore. <laughs> Rob, well, you still can. <laughs> Likes to watch people suffer like a psychopath. I mean, I guess. All right, mining station. It's got a light attack drone ship, couple of other drones. We should be able to handle it. We've got big Dakar on our side and missile spam and a carrier with more missiles. Right, you guys engage their escorts. We'll take out the big boy. And when I say we'll take out the big boy, I'll take out the big boy. Probably. It'll probably be me. Because. Ow! Come on, allies! Get over here. Here comes the cat. Here comes the torpedo spam. Ah, oh, it was a brilliant. It was a brilliant idea. It was such a good idea. Another flawless battle. Another flawless tactic by me. The uh, the, the the Atlas missile spam works every time. I was watching your vods while playing Star Sex yourself. Wow. So basically what you're trying to tell me is you're addicted to Star Sector and you need help. <laughs> Alright, excellent work. I only watch your uh, VOD channel. I'm weird and prefer them over the short video. Well, that's fair enough. Everyone has their own... Uh, everything. In everyone uh, enjoys their own type of content. That's why I... Oh wow, actually... <laughs> Just to butt in quickly on that topic. Uh, 1,431 fuel from those fuel tanks on the uh, mining station. So, yeah, we don't have to worry about fuel. But, yeah, everyone does, everyone enjoys content differently. I mean, I personally like the shorter cut-down videos myself. And that's why it's on my main channel. But I got a lot of people asking me if I could do um, 
you know, more longer style content. I thought VODs are basically, well, tw Twitch VODs are basically just long form content, so. I don't know what's going on, but this is a good find as well. I don't want to brag about anything, but I feel like I might be the luckiest Star Sector player around. Oh, there's another 29k deposit here as well. And, uh, Hegemi Auxiliary Blueprints. I, nice, nice. Uh, we don't need the, uh, 4,200 food though. That can go. Yeah, the pudding is the fun part. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I did, uh, double dip these, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, there was there something else in this system to salvage? Oh, yeah, we had those battleships, didn't we? I'm still not going to salvage them yet. I'm still going to just hold fire on those. Hold fire on the big old battleships that we could pick up. Because if I get a battleship too early, uh, my uh, ego and confidence levels are going to get way too high. And I will get myself killed. And no one wants to see that. Press the line on the side of your PC to fix. Hmm. Right, we're looking for ruins. We're looking for scrap around planets, which indicates ruins. That's that's what we're doing here. Maybe we can get even lucky and get some like extensive ruins or something. Close the sport menu while you have on screen. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> you guys are on to me. Hmm. Just trying to... I don't think there was any... Was there was any ruins over here? Oh, there was. There is scrap around this planet, I think. Or is that just debris? From the... Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's just search it. We'll do it. Uh, it doesn't have any ruins on it. But it is a class 5 planet. God damn. That is... <laughs> 125% hazard rating... Uh, rare, uh, rich rare ore deposits, abundant ore deposits, plentiful volatiles. I think, um, I think we've got a planet to colonize for our first one in a bit, boys. That's, that's a pretty good planet. Man, this has been, this has been pretty good, hasn't it? This is a pretty good system. Yeah, it, it is a pretty good one, that. Perfect planet for some mining operations and some fuel production, I think. That's where we're going to make some... Fat cash. Obviously. Obviously. I mean, I'd stick an Alpha AI core on anything. Alpha AI core on any planet. Uh, even if I'm part of the Logic Path, I'd put an Alpha AI core in. If I could introduce Alpha AI cores into my life, you know, I wish I could. I wish I could have one of them solving all my life problems. That'll be pretty good. Well, they're saying that they are starting to have AI that creates content. That's going to put me out of the job soon. <laughs> Everything, every, all, like, all, all online cre content creation will be done by AI soon. <laughs> God, and then I can be one of those people that can, I can sit there and be like, technology took my damn job. Hmm. Put an I put an Alpha AI on an IED ship. I don't know what that that just sounds terrifying to be honest. Oh shit! I don't want to sell it. I want to store it. Ah, uh, these free gamma cores. I'm just gonna hand in. Just straight away. I'm not gonna worry too much. Not, don't really care too much about the bounty value, but I'm just going to hand him in here for 36 grand. I'll take it. Do you know about the raw AI call to make instant videos? Oh, mate. Could you imagine? You could you could have like... Fire. If, if you could make like an AI that could automate my voice, you know what I'm saying? And just like... Do all the voiceover for me and then I can get an AI that plays the game 
And then I'll get an AI that also then does all the video editing. I could have like a video out like every hour. Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> Wouldn't you guys love that? An hourly uploads by me. Your brains would melt in seconds. You know, within like day two, you would be like all tapped out. Alright, your content is already at gamma core level, so your job is safe because no one will be able to tell. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I should take that as an insult or, <laughs> or a compliment, but you know, I'm going to take it. Uh, I'll, I'll take I'll take that as a compliment. I'm going to roll with it. Uh, still, Star Federation still won't love me enough to sell me any of their big boy ships, which is very irritating. I'd love access to some of their cruisers or something like that, but that's okay. I'm not mad. Not mad. Uh, I'm pretty sure my contact is on the... Like, isn't there a gas giant? Where are you? Uh, yes, he is over on down here on the massive gas giant, which is kind of annoying. I have a contact contact on the actual capital planet rather than just some shitty gas planet. Right. Do you have any work for me, sir? He's got some bounties. What have you got a manageable target? I usually just sort of click around until I can find one that's closest. And they're all quite far away, so I'm going to say no. I'm especially going to say no to this one. For the primary reason that it has a massive Redeemer improvised explosive tanker on it. <laughs> that's a no. <laughs> I'm not fighting that. All right. Anyone else got any other jobs? Yeah, no, I'm not going to go and steal some shit either. Coward. What? I'm not going to go and fight an, like a massive Lodic Path fleet filled with IEDs. That just does not sound like a fun time. You can take them. You know, I admire your confidence in me, but I, it, it, it's a no. This guy wants me to go and do some more not-so-nice shit. Um, what does the underworld want me to do? Uh, if it Stop giving me jobs that involve marines! I don't have any marines! Okay, fuck you then. Let's, uh... We won't be doing any of those jobs. Let's hang for the moment, because we get paid. And puts us up to 196,000. With stream alert, you'll win easy. Obviously, come on. I I don't want to brag, but yeah, that that, that stream of luck is. I, I should really just like record my main games, like my main videos on Twitch because this is where I have all of my luck. Like when I when I like make content and I record like you know by myself, I always get like completely like ripped a new asshole every time. I get like a string of like unbelievable bad events. But then when I'm like streaming on Twitch, everything just seems to go really well for me. Uh, right. What has the Star Federation got? We got another bounty. Not miles away, but it does involve having to fly past the ninth battle group, which will probably try and fist me. So I don't really want to go anywhere near them. Ah. Uh? What else we got? That's about it, really. I mean, I'm surprised we haven't been massively raided by pirates because that's usually how it goes. Let's have a little scoot around the rest of the planets, picking up a few more ships, and uh, and seeing if there's any more jobs. I mean, we could grab another carrier, but I feel like I'm going down that room. What's this destroyer? Uh. An overgun shipped even by Star Federation standards, featuring numerous missile ports and a supercharged array of energy weapons. More pleasing to the uh, just a sort of reasonable maintenance profile. Da 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 da. Hmm. 
Now, I like the idea of a ship with a lot of guns on it, so let's grab one of those. <laughs> I, li I like... I, 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 I'm in favor of over gun ships. They are what I like. With its free energy slots and a hell of a lot of missile slots here. What does your auto-fit recommend? Well, it's not really... Let's take it back to the planet. Hello. Welcome. Oh, this is... Oh, yeah, same plan, isn't it? Uh, what is it? It's probably going to want to stick all those overcharges on it, won't it? Overcharger. Overcharger. I've actually never used the overcharger weapon. What does it actually do? Okay. That's pretty tasty. And with a high energy focus. Oh, that could do a lot of damage. That could do a hell of a lot of damage. We linked all those weapons together. Let's just finish kitting it out with... Uh, so these are anti-armor, if I remember. Yeah, oh no, they're anti sort of 100% on everything. So we kit those out with... I was going to say some sourots. Let's go with that. And then just some torpedoes on the back. Basic point defense. Max those vents out. Da, 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 da. Head down here. Gonna need a flux distributor because we need to get up, we need to catch up with that flux level. Although I feel like this will be a burst ship, so I feel like going over on the flux is understandable. We still have quite a few things left. Unless I Hmm. Maybe if I safety override the ship. Right? Because this thing's all about getting up in their face and then hitting them with a load of firepower. Well, basically, the whole idea is getting up in their face and hitting them with a hot load of overcharged plasma. Oh, I fucked up my... We might... Hmm... Okay, maybe the uh, over the overchargers have a little bit longer cooldown than I thought they would. But it kind of works. But definitely needs uh Oh, it's also got that massive uh Hmm. Pick up battleship sorry. Uh yes, I will be picking those up at some point. I feel like we need something that's a little bit more um we just need something to keep a steady firepower on. Like a particle smasher, heavy mining beam, overcharger, burst laser. I don't want to get out of that pulse laser because it is a long range one. And long range ones kind of suck. Let's head over to ride station, see if they got any, uh, see if they got any better shit. Munch on some chicken quickly. Hmm. Fucking love chicken. Da -ba. A whole beam. Maybe, uh, maybe we should pick that up. Uh, oh, I really hate how it's done this, but that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what's something that's a little bit more like, you know. Yeah, no, it's just, that's not going to work. <laughs> Iron Pulse, actually. Iron Pulse could work quite well, actually. That's got potential. And then, that means... Let's fight something else rather than the usual thing. Let's, let's fight a hammerhead that's not... Uh, so we got like this swarm battery here. There we go. That overload him, and the uh, ion battery will disable all of his weapons, and then the Atlas torpedoes can come in. I mean, it kind of works. 
I feel like I feel like those overcharges really don't throw out enough damage. I feel like they're not quite worth it. I feel like we need something else there instead. It was a cool idea, but I don't think it works. But we'll just hold it like that for the time being. Uh, right, is there still new weapons and ships stuff you haven't played in the game? Um, uh, I feel like I've played like all the vanilla stuff. Mod wise, I'll never catch up. <laughs> There's so many mods in this game. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to run through all of them. I mean, that's a safe thing to say. Yeah, I feel like that ship needs something like, you know, like the antimatter blasters or something like that. Something that's going to do like huge damage, but we'll see what we can find. Uh, let's grab some more supplies. Stick that overcharger in there. Uh, we can. I'm gonna continue using my. Uh, continue using my missile boy. Uh, right. Head over to the Pale Twin. See if they've got any jobs for us there. Oh, fuck me. You want me to head out all the way over there? Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> hey, boys, do you think we should take down the Dragon Reborn? <laughs> right? We could definitely do that. Absolutely not. I ain't going anywhere near that fucking thing. That caused me so much pain and misery. I refuse to do it again. Tritex actually got a bounty for someone right next to us, so I'm just going to head out and do that. I know it's not the Star Federation, but it's our ally, so I feel like it's it's safe to do it. Yeah, we're helping out our dear ally Tritex. Oh, that chicken is really goddamn spicy. I really need to stop eating spicy food on stream. <sniffs> Ugh. Ugh. Well, you can take it just trying to fight. <laughs> well, you say I'm good at, like, kidnapping people or something now. <laughs> Where does it say? Bounty player also contains partial info on some ships under her control. She's rumored to be near a gas giant. Well, there's no gas giants in here, so that was pointless. So what are you doing today? Running as the Star Federation and just, yeah, just just doing a Star Fed game. Keeping it Star, keeping everything Star Federation related, or mostly. There's a mining station here. It's actually a buffalo, which I, oh, it's got degraded filth though. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. I ain't rolling around on 14 burn speed. Holy shit. All right. Yeah, good good finds. Good good finds here. As always, busting out that good old stream of luck. 3,700 transportonic ore. That's quite a chunk of change, that is. Let's uh, stick those in orbit for the time being. We'll come back for those. Uh, oh my god. Really? God, this game is being far too kind to me. Right, well, there's a gas giant over there, and I reckon that's probably where our bounty is. Head over there and clap that. Hacks. <laughs> Look, I promise it's not hacks, all right? I'm not hacking. It's just streamer luck. We all we all know it. God, this fleet's perfect. Hey, come here. Come here, little shit. There we go. Right, we should be able to just auto-resolve that battle. Yeah. Happy days. They are all dead. Let's survey this gas giant because it's got root. Oh, we... Okay, we can't survey this gas giant. 
I was going to say because it's got runes around it, so it means there's something on it, but we will not be surveying that today. Just a game adjusting for his lack of skills. <laughs> yeah, the game's just giving me a chance. That's what it is. Just giving me that early game boost in confidence and uh, ready to, you know, fuck me later on. But, uh, right. So that system kind of sucks. There wasn't really anything there. Not gonna lie. Pretty, pretty dire. Let's head back home. Head back home temporarily. Pick up some more supplies. Some more guns. Actually, go back and grab more trade ships, actually. So we can grab all that transportonic ore. We need about 3,000, 4,000 cargo space. So, if the game would like to throw an atlas at me, I wouldn't say no. I would appreciate it very much. For all that, I can go in there. Beta core can get shipped off to you. Happy days. Uh, right, big cargo ships. We've got a bison here that can store a thousand cargo. Uh, it's got an erratic fuel injector though, but that's not too much of a worry unless we can find one that's not broken. But I feel like we can't, so that's a good start. 72,000, big old cargo ship. Uh, we'll just shove in expanded cargo holds just because we like it, and then I'll just follow my usual policy. And, oh uh, yeah, an augmented dry fields. My usual policy of not building on trade ships because, uh, yeah, if, they're, if your trade ships are being shot at, they're probably going to die. So it's not worth sticking any of that on. Let's grab another small buffalo as well. Uh, expanded cargo holds as well. Not collapsed cargo holds, expanded. There we are. That's a huge chunk of space. It's 3,200, so that should be more than enough. Well, we'll be grabbing enough transportonic ore to make ourselves a nice chunk of change. And don't forget picking up more crew. No self-defense IEDs. <laughs> too, too fair, that'd be a brilliant idea for a trade ship, wouldn't it? No one would expect it. You just have like an atlas that can shoot out IEDs. They'll never expect it. You know, they'll be like, ah, oh, look at this poor defenseless atlas which we can go and raid it's probably got thousands of pounds worth of cargo on it and then it just shoots out an ied <laughs> and what, what would they do they'll be terrified uh i'd rather have to see glad to see you're posting more rimworld yes yes i am back to the the rimworld grind but it's great because i can now do a rimworld and then a star sector video and rimworld star sector and then maybe throw in some extra content and everyone can be happy that's that's the plan at least whether or not that will happen we'll we'll see we we, we shall see hmm so missile no not just a missile i mean an ied a ship <laughs> Because anyone could just throw out some missiles. But it would be a true Chad maneuver to throw out a fucking entire ship at your enemy. Alright, where can I flog all this transportonic ore for fat stacks of cash? Yeah, okay, yeah, Sammy Bravs, yeah. There you are. Have they been nerfed yet? <laughs> Or are they still retardedly OP? Uh, we're not at war with the Sindrian, are we? We can head down there and flog them some... Uh, uh, we are at war with the Sindrian, aren't we? Okay, well, we won't be saying transportonic ore to them. Uh, oh, well, to be fair, it doesn't look like anyone needs transportonic ore. So we'll just go and sell it at Sector 8. 
Fuck it. It's not going to make us massive stacks of profit. But oh, 32 each, that hurts. But I really can't be bothered to fly anywhere else, so... Oh, fuck. Actually, no. Fuck it. We're going to Eldful. Go sell it to the Independents. That hurts too much to sell it that cheaply. Uh, still pretty strong. I don't know if that... Yeah, I mean... I think it's not the semi-brave that needs nerfing. I think it was the uh, fast missile... Experimental... Experimental fast missile cruiser they had. Where you could stick like four of them on or something like that. That was... I think... Yeah, you could stick four or, like, four or five semi-brave torpedoes on it. And then it also had fast missile racks. I think that ship was the problem. <laughs> that ship was just ridiculous. I took out everything with that. Not not a single person survived. Oh, Age of Innovation, apparently. Oh, look at that. Everyone gets loads of free shit. Yeah. Classic modders, right? Making their mods super OP so everybody use them. <laughs> Well, 158,000 is a lot better for that, uh, for that, for all of my transportonic ore. So that's tasty. That brings up to a nice total 297,000. Although I do need to uh, grab some more sh supplies. Uh, I can understand with why it's not that balanced right now. It's it's just on the uh because they're still developing the mod, aren't they? So it doesn't need to be balanced out just yet. Um But you know. Wait for them to finish adding you know, adding content and then they can balance it all out. But I do wonder if they are gonna fall into the dire loop of feature creep. And add way too much shit and spend and then get overworked with trying to balance it all out and what's good and what's not. And uh, then turns out everything be shit and then no one uses it. <laughs> hmm. Ah, <clears throat> efficiency overhaul. That's exactly what I need. It's on like the 15th redrawing of his ships. Of the ship. Jesus. Yeah, that's, uh, that's cool getting a little bit carried away. <laughs> All right. Square throw efficiency overhaul on a few of these ships. I mean, if the man's having fun, the man's having fun, right? If he enjoys doing what he's doing, he can crack on. It's his mod. He can make however he wants it. You know, if he wants to redesign the ships over and over, a over, and over again, he can do that. <laughs> and I want to hold him back. If that's what he wants to do, that's what he wants to do. Doesn't have to listen to everyone else. He can just enjoy what he loves doing. Yeah, that is the one thing I did take away from um, UAF. It's I. <laughs> I really liked the ships and it and like the whole, all of it. I just didn't get. I I just yeah. The uh, anime waifus kind of stuff. Not for me, to be honest. Not not my cup of tea. The uh, the text and the writing definitely needed a lot of work, considering uh, a lot of it kind of made me cringe a lot at times reading it. But aside from that, the actual ships inside, I, I thought were really good. Oh, that was really good. <laughs> I need to get a drink. <coughs> Fucking <coughs> voice is going. One second. Okay, I am no longer, no longer choking on chicken, and uh, <laughs> let's, uh, but yeah, as I was saying, UAF, I like the ships, like all that side of it, everything else, mm, not for me, just kind of, just kind of cringe, man, choking on some cock, oh, you know me. Can't help myself when I'm streaming. 
Uh, I feel like I'm getting to the point where I might have like nearly every mod spec already, which is this is very good for me. Uh, oh, we could buy one of these. These things are pretty good. Kestrel. Um. How, basically, these ships are super tough, right? But. And then, yeah, everything's hybrid on it as well, but I don't think we really need it. We just need we just need we just need to save up for a big ship. That's what we need. We need a capital ship now. Or well, we could go have a look at those ships that we had uh We could go have a look at those ships. There was a what was it a tyrant and some high tech ships. So let's go have a look at those and salvage one of them. Uh just top ourselves up on fuel. Hey man, cross appreciate crossing. I appreciate the uh, tier one sub for two months. Thank you very much. Yes, Star Federation stuff. Everybody loves the Star Federation, right? Everyone runs this mod because how fucking nice it is. All right, that was over there, I think. Let's just go grab that high tech ship of doom. All right, it's Starford running November. Better stock up on those energy weapons. Yes, that is the one thing that I need is more energy weapons. I thought I was like literally like choking on chicken earlier and I'm still eating chicken. Mmm. I can love chicken. Yeah. Your boy is back on Star Sector. So I guess you did something useful. Mate, you're telling me. You've gone through. How many games of Star Sector? And you didn't even know that the Star Federation was a mod? You disgust me. Have I had Korean fried chicken? No, I have not. Alright. Here we go. Let's just grab this big old thing. Oh. It's a little bit fucked up, not gonna lie. It's a bit broken, but you know, it's okay. We can just mothball it for the moment, bring it home, see what see what we can do with it. It's got a large. Oh well, let's let's just let's just get it home first. Just trying to look at a ship when it's completely battered just hurts my eyes, and I don't I don't have the IQ to look at any other stats. Um, no, I'm generally getting to the point where everyone joke everyone jokes about being like, "Oh, chicken and rice sucks." Chicken and rice, you know, uh, it's so bad. Chicken and rice. I'm there, like, I could just sit down and eat chicken and rice for, you know, I could have it every meal. I just like chicken and I like rice. <laughs> I will never get bored of eating chicken and rice. Everyone always, like, you know, people who are, like, you know, massively into fitness always like, oh, you know, I've got to eat chicken and rice. It's so bland. I'm just sat there like, that's exactly what I got. Chicken, rice, and hot sauce. I saw, like, <laughs> it's such a nice combination. It's, it's overpowered, all right? It's so fucking good. I always uh, put way too much hot sauce on, and then I, like, scream. Uh, right. Big old ship. Look at this thing. This thing's ready to fuck in so many ways. It's a real shame that it didn't come with any large energy weapons. But I mean it looks it looks good, right? We could stick massive hole beams on it. Oh, we could just stick two massive hot. We could turn this into a beam boy, right? We got a pike beam, which uh, I think is that a medium or a large? I don't actually know. Could we turn this into a beam boy? I don't think the ship should be a beam ship, but I feel like for the good memes, we we will. <laughs> well, it it kind of meant to be star fed only, but. I don't know. I, I feel really bad if I 
you know, just chuck this away. Unless you guys want to go down that route and I will sell it for a grand total of 20,000? Is that it? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Corner ship's got to be worth more than 20 grand. Now, let's, 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 just, let's just, you know, let's just test it out with two whole beams on it. Right. Let's just go down that route of, uh, we'll just link all them on one for a second and, yeah, just stick them there. I'm getting absolutely mugged for pricing here. Now, uh, we need to tell that to link to. Yeah, this looks like a capital ship in Aurora, to be fair. Uh, right, come here, little, little, you little fucking shit. Oh, yeah, these are all anti-armor, aren't they? Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I, can't, I don't think I'm going to be able to get through a shield. They're all anti-armor. bit. Okay, yeah, we'll just scrap that experiment, right? Let's strip it down. Let's chuck it in storage for the time being, because it is completely shagged, to be fair. We'll just chuck it in there. We'll come back for that later. <laughs> We'll sort, we, we can sort it out. Uh, chuck all those in our little weapon storage here. Uh, I guess we're just gonna have to, we'll just buy some more, more ships. We'll get another bomber ship. These things are pretty good. I kind of like flying this to be fair. But does it have the breach l fucking missiles? What are these? Breach SRM pods? Doesn't look like it, but we can stick that there. Basically, lots of anti-armor, uh, anti-shield, and then anti-armor missiles to sort of do the damage after you've broken them, uh, broken them down. After we've broken their spirits, we can then break their armor. It's failing. <laughs> Don't worry, all right. It's, it's, it is a complicated game, but I, I'm I'm going slow so people can understand. We're gonna work through five minutes to catch the stream. Well, I'm glad that you uh, you know, you're here. Well, you turned up. Hope to see you again. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe if I ever stream again. That's uh, <laughs> that's my problem. <laughs> I used to like sit there and stream like, every Tuesday, Thursday. I was like, I'm never gonna break this, and then I, then I broke it. Uh, right, a couple of machine guns on the back. Uh, I, I just want those breach missiles, please. That's all I want. That's all I desire. To be fair, we can actually upgrade these scrap shots to heavy scrap shots. Which have a bit more spice to them. Uh, okay. This is what I really hate about not having your own planet to start with. Holy fuck shit, found a raw stream. Well, welcome. Good day, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, yeah, that's that. Ah, there we are. Wait, no, that's a smaller pod, though. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, how many missiles do these have? They only have 30 missiles. Okay, well, that's good. That's temporarily, that's okay. We'll run with that until we can find the actual proper medium slot ones rather than the smaller ones. I, I, I can accept that. You're a disgusting fat southerner. That is exactly who I am. And it's important not to forget who you are. As I sit here and eat my chicken and rice. <laughs> Just double check this plant, see if there is any more missiles. Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. Stopping by by saying being enjoying your VODs. Hopefully you get good soon. Hopefully you get good soon. <laughs> How fucking rageous. But no, I appreciate it, man. Go back to work. Go do something. Go do something productive for society. Let me be the uh, piece of shit that does nothing. Uh, right, do you have any work for me? Observation about he's got an old freighter. What is it? It's a Colossus. Don't want it. Uh, unconventional extraction. 200 Marines, but it's fucking miles away. 
Uh, yeah, you kind of, kind of all suck. You got a bounty there, fifty-two thousand. Which one's closer? Okay, nah, they're definitely not closer. That's also a fleet that I will not be taking. So let's take out this bounty. Let's do it. Go, <clears throat> go and kick their ass. It's over there. We got enough fuel to get there and get back. We'll take a tactical save. A little TS. Safety purposes. Just in case, you know, game stability and all that. Uh, if I was me and Tyler Bane, you're going to have a crack at Dwarf Fortress. I mean, I streamed it on Tuesday. Which was a three hour stream of me sat there having no idea what the fuck was going on. But I think I might do another stream of it. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't even want to upload the VOD of me playing Dwarf Fortress. Because it was just me sitting there for three hours going... Uh... 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 <laughs> but yeah, I might, I might have another crack at it. See what I can do. See if I can muster all of my brain power and play the game. Right, I swear my heart's on a best stream to get pissed while watching. Hey, I appreciate that. I'll take that. Although I have to, you know, this is going to come as a big shot to a lot of you, but I don't really drink anymore. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to like, I want to be that guy, but I was just trying to sit down and figure out when was the last time I probably, like, probably, properly sat down and drunk. I think it was a lie. It was a while ago. Alright, let's go and uh, fuck up these pirates though, and then we can get back onto the chat of alcohol. Um, right. Yeah, you take the center. Carriers, sort of kill whoever you want. Man, this guy, we're going on the left. Right, mining ship here. Let's just throw loads of missiles at it. Uh, get fucked. Okay. Okay, that thing, as little as that ship is... It's got one of those goddamn uh, Nixie Array things on it, and that thing will fuck me up. I was saying that these uh, are getting a little bit fucked up here. Just vent out quick. That reminds me time for a beer. No, I generally haven't like... like I've obviously had like a couple of beers here and there at the pub and stuff like that, but I don't actually remember the last time I was properly drunk. I just don't drink that much anymore. I, I, I can't... I, it must have been, like... Probably s mid this year. Whenever I went and saw The Offspring live, basically, where that that was... The, after that night, I pretty much haven't drunk masses amount because I got so fucking hammered. Hey, it wasn't even funny. I couldn't even... I, I'm so surprised I got let into that gig considering I fell over outside the stadium... <laughs> completely flopped over on my ass and then I, I was a fuck yeah i was absolute fucking state and pretty much since after that night i haven't really drunk that much but it's an easy battle though pirates dead all that done easy clap time for a bit trying to... big home bar i don't need fancy bars for that and probably <laughs> Dealing with us without, you can deal with us without its help. <laughs> Look, you know, you guys, you, you you give me migraines, but they're like the good kind of migraines. I don't think there's actually such thing as a good migraine, but you're a good migraine to me. Uh, right, bounty done. Uh, I can't bother to fight the remnants. Fifty-two k in the bank. Let's get back. And happy days. Ugh. Right, we'll level up as well. I am going to throw it straight on navigation because that plus one burn is just... It's just too good. 
You heard him, lads. Become a bad migraine. <laughs> No, I'll tell you what, though. Out of every sort of, like, problem that I've had in my life, I have to admit, the worst thing I've ever had to suffer from, which came from my problem in my ears and was, yeah, kind of a main reason why I didn't upload for a while, was uh, chronic tinnitus. Tinnitus, or tinnitus, however you want to pronounce it. Holy dog shit. I, uh... So I got, for those that don't know uh, why I haven't uploaded in a while, I got something called ETD, which is like basically your ears, like the tubes in between your ears fuck up like massively and they like clog up with uh, like mucus and shit or swell up and then it fills up your middle ear canals with just fluid. Holy shit. Having the constant feeling of pressure in your ears has got to be possibly one of the worst things and then having no balance uh, not being able to basically function as a human being But the fucking ringing in the ears It was uh, at its height I literally could not I had my headphones in my headphones in And they were louder than the ringing And I was just like What? I've got them almost on full volume How is this shit louder? And it honestly It's Protect your ears. That's the moral of the story. Protect your ears. Do not ever. <laughs> you know, you, you listen to loud music. Turn that bitch down. You go to gigs. Put some fucking ear protection on. Because holy dog shit. I remember I was talking to my granddad about this. And he's had uh, like chronic tinnitus since he was 19. Because of uh, the military. Because turns out. I've done a lot of research on this. Because I, I, I thought I was like. I thought I was like fucked. You know, I thought I was got this for life. And, uh, yeah, he's had it, like, really bad tinnitus, like, his whole life. Like, from a 19, he was in the military, and they, he was, like, artillery and shit like that. Back in the days when it was there, uh, like, ah, it's, don't worry about your ears. Your ears will be fine. You're 19. You're indestructible. You don't need any ear protection or anything like that. Uh, yeah, he's had, like, really bad all his life. And I was just that, like, how the fuck have you put up with this your whole life? I've had a month of it, and I want to, like, shoot myself. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's, 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 yeah, I know. I have a... Uh, from when a car gets hit by snowplow, I have a hearing aid in with white noise saying it. Yeah, I mean, I, I have found a new respect for anyone that has to suffer with it. Because holy shit. I've still got like a little bit in like my right ear. So I can't sleep on my right side. Otherwise, it sort of makes loads of noise and i've always slept with like noise anyway so it's never been a problem for me but my god my god it's it's horrible but yeah i'm in the same boat i, I i've always been on the same boat of like i can't do with just being in silence but yeah yeah, Jesus Christ. That's, 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 that's my small rant over. That, that's, that's all i got to say. Meat cookies that are honest to God dog shit, chocolate shit, but there's a random ass raisin spread through the hung. What? Hmm. <laughs> this isn't Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> Look, all right. We, I, I said this a minute ago. No one wants to sit here and watch me go... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no one wants to sit there and watch me suffer for another three hours, okay? You want to see me succeed and achieve something in a stream? You do that anyway. <laughs> Fucking come on, man. <laughs> I do it a lot more when playing Dwarf Fortress, all right? Ah! Cool. Right. Let's see if my contact has anything else for me to do. <laughs> what do you mean? Everyone comes here to watch me succeed. Ah, oh, yeah. I haven't got anything else. Everyone wants to see the underdog win, right? That's that's my whole life story. Is everyone wants to see me uh, succeed in life. 
Oh, that's what I hope for. I don't think I've made many YouTube enemies. My only mortal YouTube enemy has been Pixel Rookie. But that's always been a meme. If anyone of you know who Pixel Rookie is. Back when we were both really small channels. With about four or five thousand subscribers. I deemed him my arch nemesis. Because he overtook me. And then I overtook him. And then he overtook me. And it was a constant battle between us. And then he had a kid. And he had to go do adult things. And here I am. Three years later. Double his subscribers, baby. <laughs> Don't see that old man uploading anymore. <laughs> Although he did upload recently. And he made a really good video. So I, 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 I got to respect him for that. Pretty sure you're your own worst enemy. That is very true. I, uh, that I, I probably have done more to harm my own career than anyone else. But that's fine. Uh, right, let's take, a, let's take a quick save here. Uh, Pixel Rookie. No, to be fair though, you should check out Pixel Rookie. He's, uh, he's a really cool guy. He, he is generally quite a, quite a cool guy. Hmm. Right, considering we were at war, I was kind of hoping that the Star Federation would be, you know, doing some war things, but we really aren't going anywhere, are we? Are we seriously, like, not killing people? Why are we not sent any raids at the Sindrian? Why have the Sindrian not sent any raids at us? I want to do some big boy fighting now. We've been bullying little bounties for the last two hours. I want to get, like, super overconfident and die like I always do. Uh, anything going on in the local area? Yeah, there is no, there's generally no raids. Jesus Christ. All right, let's just go do this uh, little bounty just across from us here. You can never, never, uh, never go wrong with doing bounties. Uh, have you gone good yet? Uh, yes. Now, I want to be that guy, Ember, but, um... Uh, sorry, how did uh, Victoria 3 multiplayer go for us last time we played it? What was that? Was I putting Welsh on the fucking map and then you fucking failed as, the, like, the Irish? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. <laughs> you shut your mouth. Uh, right. Okay. Bounty is not in here, it seems. It's probably a little bit further across. Well, I've just had my fortress found by a giant. My asthma is fucking everywhere. 90 people are dead. <laughs> yeah, this is why I'm not playing Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> that, game, that game just broke me. Um... Um. Uh, I'm gonna have a say a wild guess and say this is not gonna be a fun bounty to find. Uh, a barren world. He's apparently near. Uh, let's hope for the. Let's just pray that we don't run into the uh, Ludic Path outpost. Right? <laughs> That's not gonna be a fun day. Nah, too fair. That was a really fun game of Victoria 3 we played, though. We all, we released, what was it? Ireland, Scotland, uh, Wales. And basically, it was just... Yeah, it was, it was, it was good. It was good. We need to continue that. All right. Pirates, though. Let's kill them. Second in command could just deal with these uh, idiots. Oh! Oh, ho, ho, ho! I'm recovering it. If anyone knows what I just recovered, they are a Chad. Check this fucking ship out. It's the Ludic Path Mud Skipper Mark II. It's a fucking Mud Skipper with a large ballistic slot. This thing is the Alpha Chad of all ships. 
Uh, Ember as well with the 31 mums. I do appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. What game doesn't break you? Uh... I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of, like, what games I'm, like, generally good at. And I'm just sat there thinking it's, it's not a... <laughs> It's not a good list. <laughs> VR porn? I mean... I don't even own a VR headset, so I can't, you know... Can't tell you that one, unfortunately. Uh, right. Tell you what, let's just let's, let's, let's run around this system, though. Let's, let's not be a little bitch. Let's see if we can find anything of use. I'm guessing that's the... Oh, that's a watchtower. I don't know what these watchtowers are. I don't know where they've come from. But let's roll with it. Uh, There's nothing down there. You know what? Fuck this, actually. Let's just get out of it. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not risking it. This is how I usually die, is doing stupid things like this, like searching this empty system, which has clear Luddick Path presence. <laughs> Just, just get out of here. I'm done. Let's go. Let's go home. We got paid forty grand. We got a, uh, we got forty grand as well from our bounty. Uh, we could actually, considering we are at war with the syndrome and they are mostly locked to one system, we could go and raid their. We could go and raid their convoys. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Go be a convoy raider. I was on barrels. So somewhat within ninety-five percent of large for second sector is good. <laughs> I missed your streams being a withdrawal for like two. I'm sorry. I'm here. Okay, I'm back. Everyone can be really happy and celebrate. That's that's what you can all do. <laughs> Definitely. No one uh, no one cries when they watch my streams. Although I don't actually, I, I I can't prove that. Someone might have cried whilst watching my streams, but no one normally cries when watching my streams. So we can all celebrate. All celebrate together. Uh, oh, we could get an Osprey, but... Yeah, so far as the large cast of that, with variable time proximity freeze, uh, deals 200. Ah, oh, fuck it, why not? Let's buy it. I don't think I've ever used this ship, but why not? So it's got a massive... Uh, art oh, it's the artillery beam! And it's got the cast of that that blows up all around it. Hell yeah, this is my... This is going to be a beam boy. We love beam ships. Okay, maybe it won't because there's no, there's no beams here. We've got two large energy slots on the side. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of DACA. Laugh my ass off what you saying. Exactly. See, no one cries. Everyone, it's only laughter. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. So yeah, this has, this is the big artillery DACA, right? This is good shit. We just need to find everything else that it needs like more lasers lasers lots of lasers this will become the ultimate beam ship and then we can go and raid trade ships although i feel like i'm not gonna find what i need i won't lie i'm i i find i always find like trying to find tactical lasers is just impossible unless someone's selling them no. No. Hi ho. Hi ho. Off to find tactical lasers we go. When I'm in doubt, Dacker. <laughs> when I'm in when you're in doubt, Dacker it out, alright? That is the old rules. There is no there's no lasers here. There's no okay, maybe we won't be kicking this ship out. Let's just chuck this in storage. Like, we're chucking all our ships in storage. And we'll come back to that one. When we can actually... When we actually have some laser weapons. We'll go out and search for them and buy them. That was probably not the smartest of purchase that I've done. Because uh, I definitely was not ready for it. Right. Sindrian sector. Supplies. Hit me. Fuel. Hit me. Maybe not that much fuel. Let's go do some convoy raiding, baby. 
obviously take a save just in case it all goes horribly wrong. So since you're now at war with the iron shell, that's pretty good. That means we're all, everyone's going to be putting the pressure on them. Yeah, 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 of course. We don't, like I said, you know, Star Sector is still in early access. There's there's definitely thousands of game-breaking bugs. You know, it's like a, it's got as many bugs and, oh my god, fuck shit, fuck. It's got about as many bugs as a triple-A title. Oh, that's a burn. Hello, little trade ship. How are you doing? It's time for you to die. Although I feel like that fleet might actually be a little bit stronger than mine. Okay, we may, we may be in a little bit of trouble here. I might have bitten off more than I can chew. Right, you're on that. You guys, you two take the side. You guys are on me. We'll, uh, we'll kill whatever we can. We need to get rid of, like, get rid of their little escorts first. Or we could definitely hit that thing in the rear quickly. There's a load of missiles, you little fuck. Loads of missiles. Let's, get, let's shoot this thing in the back. Oh my god, it's got so many more missiles than me. That's, uh... That's slightly terrifying. Right, you guys take that out. Take that out. Us three, we're going for that. Because those two ships kind of suck, if I remember correctly. And if we can just pound this fucking... What's this? Corsair thing? Defender class? We should be alright. I might as well get some sneaky missiles on the back there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Outplayed. Right. Ow. Fast missile racks. More missiles. Reaper. Alright, here comes the torpedoes. Oh! oh, beautiful. Yeah, this thing's dead. The torpedo bombers were the best investment I think I've ever done. They are incredible. Uh, can't remember. You're not special. Dolmas has been subbed longer than you. So, you know, you're not that special, mate. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Battle is over, but I will finish up this ship quick. Just watch the torpedoes completely wreck this nerd. Get fucked! I gave him the first sub. <laughs> you created a monster. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for stopping by and watching the stream. I do appreciate it. I'll see you again, I hope. Right. Trading fleet destroyed. They do have an atlas here. But it does only have a maximum burn of five, so I am going to leave it. Plus, it's not a Star Federation ship. You know what I'm saying? But our convoy raiding has worked. Sort of. We, we got paid seven and a half grand for that. Or 7.2 grand, sorry. So, you know, we're, we're doing something. We're, we're, hoping, we're helping the war effort here. And my logic is we can sort of just sit out here and raid anything that's Syndrome related. Who's that? That's Pirate Raiders. Uh, we might as well kill them if we can catch them. Which is not going to happen. Uh, you gave him a response for you to waste his hard earned money on this. Hmm. Right. Bunch of pirates kill. Okay, yeah, we, we cannot fight that uh, detachment there. That's not going to happen. That detachment will completely destroy me. Oh, but there was another trade ship that just popped out there. <laughs> Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. It's already being chased by something. Oh my god, it's a massive iron shell fleet. But I'm joining the battle. I'm coming in. 
Yeah, Star Federation for life. <laughs> Fuck all your, you know, legions and s aggressors. You guys suck. You ain't got nothing on the Star Fed. We're the cool kids. Look, I gotta, I gotta, gotta get the damage in here. Gotta prove that we are, that we're the best. Go, heavy scrap shot. Ow. 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 There we go. Quick vent so then we can throw loads of missiles in its face. There we go. Fast missile racks. Fast missile racks. <laughs> Dig a hole for its armor slowly. So this is the one problem I have with this ship is I am pretty much all anti-shield weapons but missiles are my anti-armor and actual damage so my scrap shots do fucking nothing mm, there we go it's another atlas there to recover <laughs> that's completely shagged but we'll grab all of that good stuff i am pretty much out of fuel though oh so we're stuck in here, hide in here, and grab some fuel. Don't know how profitable this raiding's working out for me, but at least, like I said, we're doing this more to contribute to the war effort. Uh, you guys got any, like, tactical lasers for sale, by any chance? Or any laser weapons? No? Okay. Right, fuel. Give me fuel. Give me a chunk of supplies. Give me more fuel. Head down here to the hedge. Get some more fuel. This seems to be the one problem this fleet has. We have a lot of fuel consumption. Uh, mostly... Phantom class. Uh, yeah, Bison is consuming a lot of fuel. I mean, all the ships are consuming a chunk of fuel, to be fair. It is uh, expensive. <laughs> Mate, salvage, salvage only runs are fantastic, all right? The problem is when you're raiding in hyperspace, you don't get like the double dip. Jesus Christ, we are using a hell of a lot of fuel to get around, aren't we? Maybe I need to like, hmm. All right, let's 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 just let's just duck back over into our favorite system of high Brazil because I feel like we need to we need to like lower our fleet down a bit because we are consuming forty two fuel, which is a ridiculous amount. Let's go. Let's get back to let's just buy enough fuel, get and get home. Basically, spend all of my money just to go home and then maybe do something else the, 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 did I just sell my crew? no there we go, right, that should be enough fuel to go home right oh yeah yeah, no, that salvage video was a good laugh, I really did enjoy that video I had great fun making it that's when I like I got like um, a pack of like transitions and like editing like basically this big video editing pack that gave me like loads of zooms and transitions and shit and i was like uh, i'm just gonna go wild and just throw as many transitions zooms everything i can into it <laughs> but yeah no well, my video was good fun i i like that although i think i need to like change the thumbnail around because uh, it never really got a high click through rate which i think because the thumbnail was a little bit well, it was a bit out there shall we say so I think I need to redo that thumbnail and maybe change the title and stuff around and maybe it might pop. You never know. <laughs> you never know with YouTube. You never know. Right, a couple of prisoners here which we are going to hand in for rep. A little bit of rep. Uh, get some relationship up with the staff fed even higher. 
They'll now sell me all of their big ships. We could buy the Rebellion class if we wanted to, or the Union. That would be pretty, pretty fucking good. But what I'm more interested in right now is it gives me access to everything in the armory. So maybe I could, uh, maybe, maybe I could uh, upgrade my own ship now and maybe have a proper beam ship. I doubt it. What do you want? Okay, you're a saboteur. I don't need a saboteur right now. I don't need to go through the ground battle tutorial. Uh, is there actually any jobs? around here at the star fed sirs do you have anything for me I go with the fact that no no you do not i'm not gonna lie that raiding was a good idea but it just doesn't it's just not worth it considering it has that massive patrol ro rolling around outside it will just yeah that will catch me eventually uh, we'll see old Freya. You're still saying that shit. You got more bounties? Okay, you got bounties that aren't 50 miles away? Yeah, nice. No, that's, that's not gonna happen. Maybe I should just go straight for the colonization of that world that I found. A Kari Volcanic World or whatever it was. Maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea. And then I can at least, like, you know have my own storage which isn't costing me eight grand i don't know let's hold it for a month see how much we get paid yeah, only thirty-eight thousand. Oh, jesus it's uh it's not cash money hmm Come on, guys. There's got to be, like, a good paying job around here somewhere. This is Star Federation territory. we got a survey world quest, but that's all the way down there. So that's a big fucking no. But I want to represent you guys as an arms dealer selling illegal weapons, actually. Oh, this might be able to be where I can buy my lasers. Ah, here we go. Tactical lasers. Give me 10 of those. This is what I'm looking for. Give me some grav beams as well. Okay, you don't have gravitational beams. Wait, is it gravitational beams? I don't know. Whatever the fuck they are. Remnant PD lasers. Tentacle lasers. Duh, duh, duh. Charge lasers? Uh, no. Uh, corrosive plasma breeder. Leader. Let's grab a couple of those for uh, research. <laughs> it's going to cost me 14 grand, so that's going to take 60 days to produce. <laughs> Mafia looking for their money. Fuck! <laughs> How did you know? No, i got to find a way to pay for my heating, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to start by one of those Twitch streamers that starts saying, if you don't donate, I'm going to stop streaming. And then I can be like, yeah, you guys are paying for my heating, and then give you like this big sob story. That's That's my plan here from now on. You know, for one Twitch Prime, you can heat my house for another minute. <laughs> uh, right. Okay, I don't want to do any jobs that require, like, actually having to do shit. Uh, I just want to be paid for doing nothing. And doing jobs that involve Marines involves me having to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, no, it doesn't matter. You know what? Thankfully, I live a reasonably comfortable lifestyle. I, uh, so it hasn't really... It's annoying, but it's not like uh, I'm in a position of financial ruin or, you know, things are going bad for me. It's just annoying. If things keep getting worse, you never know. I might be in that category, but touch wood. Thanks to my... Uh, uh, you know, tendency to not spend barely any money. <laughs> I, I'm doing all right. Yeah, and we have the, uh, and, and then I have, well, yeah, Amber, you work like four jobs, don't you? Bitch, you better fund everything I do. Oh, 
Oh, sorry, yeah, free jobs. Uh, right, fuck this system. Yeah, I've, I've just decided to give up and just go do some surveying. To be honest, since there's no real... Nothing really going on in the system. We might as well just linger about. Hopefully find some shit in these nearby systems. Just a couple of ruined planets, I wouldn't say no. Oh! Get out of here. I ain't fucking around with that. That's a big no from me. I fucking hate those systems. Those systems are just horrible and I refuse to do anything about it. You know, you know, refuse to have anything to do with them. All right, what we got around here? Come on, give me some good stuff. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of fuel. Here we go, debris. Boom, survey data. Not what I needed. There is a... Uh volcanic world down here though we will have a look here yes we are back to the good old star sector there's no ruins outside it it's no good no good whatsoever let's move on All right, come on. I had I, I I had my ridiculously good streamer luck at the start of this save. Give me some more streamer luck. It's nothing on that planet. I really should have bought more fuel before coming out. That would have been. That would have been a smart idea. I'm not going in for that. No, there is nothing here. For God's sake. All right. Let's just double check there and... Wait, how much fuel is it to get home? Oh, piss. Oh, fuck. All right, let's just try and get home, I guess. Mm. Let's jump into this system here. At least we'll be heading home. I always seem to do this. I always seem to be like, yeah, fuck it, let's go do some surveying. And then I realized, like, mm, maybe I should have grabbed a bit more fuel. <laughs> that probably would have helped. Oh, there's going to be fuck cool in here, isn't there? Ah! Ludic Path. Exactly the thing people I want to run into when I uh, have low fuel. Hey, what's up, guys? Heard you want to uh, offload some fuel for me. Right. You... You're on those two. Uh, you guys focus on the hammer. I'm going to help on this right flank and kill these uh, shitty ships. There we go. Fucking get out of it. Oh, shit. I overloaded myself. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Look, all right. I don't actually want, like, any trouble. I'm actually a good guy. Ah, that's what you fucking think. Get fucking slapped up. Boom. Mate, you got... You, this is the best strategy, really. It makes your crew fight, you know, more... Uh, <laughs> ferociously. <laughs> when they know that they have to win this fight so they can get enough fuel to go see their families again, you know. It's the best strategy. There we go. This fight's got to be over, right? There it is. Hammerhead down. Don't need to recover any ships. Nice little chunk of fuel there. No double salvage? Out fucking rageous. 
What else we got there? We got another little fleet here. So there's the star base, which we're going to stay away from. We will just kill the individual fleets around it until something that's actually quite terrifying comes out. And then we'll run away and <laughs> scurry away like little Star Federation rats. Right. Haha! -ha! Spade defeated. With that spade defeated, we shall win every fight now. Dun 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 dun. Ah. Right, well, right, everyone just loop back and clap these two ships, please. Let's just get all these. Let's get these two killed, and then we'll kill everything else. Let's just kill the ships that have overextended a little too much. Go missiles! Lots of missiles. Kill them all. Ah, kite him. Ah, kite! I'm trying to throw a reaper in my face. God, you know, that old saying, right? You know, everyone has a plan until you get a reaper in your face or whatever it was. That's, uh... That's, I've never heard truer words in my life. Alright, that's got to be the end of this fight, right? There we go. Fight the star base, it'll go really well. It, it won't, though. Don't even try and lie to me about it will saying it will go well, because it won't. It will be me dying, everyone going, ha ha, raw bad, and uh, holy shit, I think it's time we left. An invader here, which, uh, just uh, break that down. Let's, uh, let's leave. That's a lot of IEDs there, and I don't want to get involved. I think it's time we went home. That's not a bit of me. We might be able to just snipe that little fleet. <gasps> oh my god, is that Buffalo Mark IV or not? I, I need to kill that fleet. I need to kill that ship. I need to kill them. It, I think this fleet has my favorite ship. <gasps> it does! The Buffalo Mark IV! This thing is by far my favorite ship. Let's see if it will actually... Yes. <laughs> now we scurry away. Oh! Fuck off! I'm out. I'm gone. Look, I'm leaving. I'm done. Okay, I've killed enough of your brethren. I'm out. I'm out. I'm gone. And yes, you just managed to scrape just enough fuel as well chicken oh where i love chicken no I'm... no i'm not getting involved with that thing that thing will fuck me up all right but for real though check this out just dump all that stuff for those that don't know what the buffalo mark 4 is it is a truly beautiful ship uh, right, just need to scrap that. Throw expanded missile racks on it. Don't need any vents, any none of that bullshit. <sniffs> Reinforced bunkheads and a fucking dream. That's pretty much all you need. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the Buffalo Mark IV is a buffalo with two hammer barrages on it. A truly glorious piece of engineering. I think actually, fuck reinforced bunkheads. ECCM package is probably better choice here you know what for the meme i'll just build in the expanded missile ranks just so we can have the reinforced bunk heads on it this thing is the, the most glorious ship you'll ever see is it good no but it also has fast missile racks so you you just sort of drive by people uh, oh god. Oh god. Maybe picking a carrier to fight was not a good idea. Oh, this was a really bad idea. But you get the- you get the meme here. 
You get to just unleash a load of... A loads of hammers. Eh. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Ow, 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 ow. You get the point. It's a good ship. That's all I need to do. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> but yeah, uh, Hammerhead um, Buffalo Mark IV. Best ship in the game. I will not have any debate over it. No one can change my mind. This ship is incredible. Well, I feel like the hammers need to be linked. And then they would be perfect. Let's fight something on the same capacity, like that pile of shit. Fuel ship. But yeah, you kind of just like... It's the ultimate drive-by weapon. You sort of get in range. Boom. Hammer barrage, fast missile axe, boom. Didn't stand a chance. Didn't stand a goddamn chance. But yeah, that can go into... Uh, that can go into storage as a holy relic, because I'm not going to use it, because... <laughs> It's so fucking bad. <laughs> but it's a good ship, all right? That's all you need to know. It's, it might be bad, but it's a good ship, damn it. Call me cheap as well, but I am thinking about sticking... Uh, uh, ex, uh, fucking efficiency overhaul on all my ships because of how goddamn expensive they are to run. Believe it or not, running a high-tech fleet is kind of expensive. How much does it cost to stick? It only costs six. Fuck it. We're going for it. Let's, let's, let's go. We're, we're cheaping out. I'm putting expanded efficiency overhaul on all my ships. It's got to be done. We don't need as much space. What we need is cheaper ships. Cargo capacity is not a problem. It's uh, just the price of everything. Was it like free cost here? Easy, there we go. Yes, my ships aren't going to be as good a uh, good in combat, but they're going to be cheaper. <laughs> and that's what's important. Doesn't matter how good your ships are; it's about how cheap they are to run. Because the real winner is the person who can continually continuously survive, and that's going to be me. When my ships are this cheap to run. Exactly. I'm not fighting anything scary. So I might as well cut some costs. And. Uh, look at that. Uh, ship maintenance is only 3 now. Rather than what was like 4.5. And I bet fuel is much cheaper. But yeah. Anyway. Let's uh, let's top right back up to. Oh fuck. I spawn a black market. Top up on supplies, buy a shitload of fuel this time. There we go, 1600, and then we're actually, let's head back out again. Back out into the big galaxy. Find ourselves some more ship for the Star Federation. Mostly, when I say finding more ship for the Star Federation, I mean finding more ship for myself. For when I found my definitely gonna be a Star Federation colony. It's right. Now we're not fighting anything scary. I'm going to run into like, uh, God damn. <laughs> going to run into like a medium warning beacon system and get my fucking ass handed to me on a plate now. Oh, right. This is, uh, we've got a warning beacon system here. Uh, sure. Why not? Let's have a little look around here. See what we got going for us. Ah, I've actually, oh, shit. I've already done this system, haven't I? Whoops. Let's carry on moving. Yeah, Paragon comes out of nowhere. <laughs> The Huntress Light Destroyer there, though. We'll salvage that quick. Yum. Uh, right. Where are we? I'm on the wrong map. That's why. Let's keep going over this way. Keep loading up that other map instead of Intel, and it's really annoying me. 
can't wait for this guy to get jumped by fire. <laughs> just... Yeah, we're just ready to go into a distress cool system and get fucking destroyed by a hundred pirate ships. I mean, there's a few remnants around here we could possibly kill, but we not interested in killing little remnant fleets, to be honest. Uh, all right, let's head up to those stars up there. See if there's anything on them. Come on, give me a warning beacon or something. Damage beacon? Ah? Uh? Ah, domain resurgence are here. Cool. That means there's loot. It also means it's time for a, definitely a tactical save because, you know, it's a very unstable uh, mod. Damn it, that meme will never die. Oh, there's a border crossing here. Oh yeah, we have a load of these little guardian posts to kill. They shouldn't be a problem. We'll wipe these out. This isn't the main domain resurgence uh, system, but it's just one of the smaller ones. So it should have quite a little bit, quite a chunk of loot in it. So we will play the game of, we'll see about that. And hopefully we don't run into any of the massive fleets. We can just continue to kill, like, all the little ones. Come on, give me more missiles. Actually being slightly countered by these, like, low-tier trash because they actually have flare launchers. <laughs> and I don't appreciate that at all. All right, cool. Gamma Core, happy days. Guardian Station, another Gamma Core. Actually, has a little bit of salvage there as well for us. Another Guardian Station, more automated drones. That's okay. We can kill them. See, I think it'd be more beneficial to run my uh, overgunned destroyer rather than my missile stuff. Because this is like mostly like anti-shield and... Oh! God, that was fucking close. He's got fucking reapers on it. Right, that just leaves that tiny little ship over there. There we go. Easy. Nice and easy. That's what we like to see. Uh, oh, wow. Gauss can. Nice. And some nice little bits of loot from this system, actually. Right. Give me control of our main boy here. I'll take control. Oh, no, that's not me. I'll take control of that ship. I should probably upgrade my commanders, but I'm going to hold on that because I don't want to pay him more money. <laughs> <laughs> Call me stingy, but I don't want to pay them any more than what they were. I won't pay them any more money. Here we go. This ship should be able to uh, fuck them up pretty quickly. Mostly because it's got an ion beam on it or ion pulsar on it, so it's just going to disable every weapon they have. Hey, go get wrecked. Who'd have thought bringing nice, powerful over nice, powerful high tech ships would destroy the uh, lower tier domain era trash? Nice. Okay, let's actually go and survey some of these planets around here now. Like I said. 
The, the Reapers, they're terrifying. Everyone has a plan until the Reaper comes out. Alright, well, that's not happening. <laughs> that automated defense is a bit bigger than I thought. So, uh, let's just leave that fight it. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Absolutely not. We are not fighting that at all. Easy fight. <laughs> that fight will would will ruin my entire career. That's how bad of a fight that would be. Uh, there's no ruins here. What have we got lurking? There's a destroyer and a resource collection center, isn't it? Uh Come on, don't have like crazy amounts. Okay, that okay, we Oh part of me thinks we could win that, but another part of me thinks that is a few too many ships to be taking on. Uh what we got around it? Fuck me, a loads of shit. I'll take a save and I'll fight it. Alright, I'll take a save. I'll take a little tactical save because this is a stupid idea and I always it's it's only fair if I do something stupid. Take it a save before it. Right. Okay, well, let's, be, let's try and be a little bit tactical here. Okay, uh, let's kill and hopefully murder them all very, very quickly. Let's let them, let's let them attack us. And we kill the little shit first. Although saying that, that ship's looking a little bit tasty. Maybe we can get rid of this thing first. Alright. That's that one dead. Alright, you guys. Alright, let's go big on the push here. Let's try and wipe out all these. You guys take them out. Let's get big on the push on the sides. And then we'll uh, wrap round and hopefully murder whatever's in the center. Little bastard's got a chain gun there. Keep probably the most dangerous thing that's in the fleet is that bloody chain gun. Okay, looks like the uh, left front did not do so well. Left front got pretty fucked up. Right. You guys focus on that guy. You just ask, give, give, give me an escort. I'm going to keep rolling around murdering the little ships. Excellent work. More swarm missiles. Oh! Stay away from that thing. Okay, looks like... Uh, looks like we are actually winning this. Okay, let's... Uh, yeah, you four... Oh, yeah, you go kill that. We'll come back to that ship in a minute. Let's just kill that little thing. Okay, that's actually a smaller than I thought that was going to be. Right, now we all dick on the main ship. Which has completely fluxed himself out here. What a fucking loser. Ion cannon, disable everything. Disable his whole future. Disable all of his ambitions. His career. His life choices. There you go. He's done. He's tapped out. Oh, maybe I should listen. Maybe I should listen to you guys more. That fight was actually quite easy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we only lost two ships. And what was the what was the payload? Uh, okay, it wasn't amazing. Probably wasn't. I don't know if that was really worth it, to be honest. Don't do the mistake to listen to chat. <laughs> I, I usually ignore the chat and their really bad ideas, to be fair. It is usually uh it's usually what I do. Chat usually just tries to lead me down a path of uh 
destruction. Those of uh those are ships here, which is nice. Oh. East relation to Manchester? Yeah, fuck that. Why would you want to be relocated to Manchester? Couldn't think of anything worse. Bad idea. <laughs> I mean, I'm not wrong. I mean, you, what was the, literally five, ten minutes ago, you want me to fight that fucking doom stack of them on that terraforming station. And you can't tell me that that's a good idea. But we can kill these ones, though. Just gonna deploy everything. Just play it safe. It would have been great. Exactly. Great for you, not great for me. Dun, dun, dun. Little bastards with all their flare launches is actually really annoying. <laughs> this is the one time I'm actually annoyed fighting these uh, domain era ships because they all have flare launches and I use a hell of a lot of missiles in my fleets. You yeah, have some atlases shoved up your ass. There you go. They're not atlas talk. I don't know what whatever the bloody torpedoes these are. We're just going to call them atlases. Hey, what's up, Fallen? Hey, Derm. Good sir, how are you? Maybe you can speak some sanity to my chat. They're trying to make me do bad things. They're trying to take, make me take fights that I can't win. Ah, here we go. Here's some good stuff. This is what I'm all about. Nice little fighter wing there. Nice launcher blueprint. Get some of this metal. wings and storing up fat for Christmas. How the heck are you, aren't you? Cause genocide and classing innocence. <laughs> I mean, I'm just playing as the star fed, you know, just cruising. You know what I'm saying? Just a nice little cruise game. We haven't, uh, no virus bombardments today. No, uh, no destruction. We're just chilling. All right. It's having a great time. Yeah, that's not a fight I'm taking either. I was kind of hoping there would be some ruins here, but there really was not. So you saying that, it looks like we've come across some ruins here. Extensive ruins, here we go. Sure, give me all that fuel. Oh, baby. What the fuck is that? Tariff form a brain print? Uh, a specialized AI call contain a complete human brain print. This specimen belongs to one of domain leading terraforms, a true artist in the field of climate manipulation, provided an essay infrastructure, allows permanent addition of mild climate to a terrain planet. Fucking crap. That thing looks terrifying, but I'm taking it. Uh, I don't know what any of this stuff is, but cool. We'll just, just give me it all. Give me all of it. Right. I feel like with that, it's time to get the fuck out of here. Where Dwarf Fortress, it seems your thing. I uh, I streamed it on Tuesday. And uh, it was basically just a stream of me being very, very confused for about three hours. Uh, <laughs> it's, that game's way over me, man. That it's, it's way too complicated for a small brain like me. What the hell's going on here? What the hell is this? Where the hell did it go? Ah, oh, fuck it. I might try it again. I, I might try and stream it again, but I don't know, man. That game, that game broke me. You saw something you shouldn't have. Much like all your stream. Come on, man. I like to think I'm confident enough to play Star Sector and, you know, entertain you guys. 
Same with RimWorld. Although RimWorld just sort of... Every time I stream RimWorld, it just gets into like a really deep chat. And then we all just sit there and chat about all of our problems. So, you know, I decided to not stream RimWorld. <laughs> and when I say we all sit there and talk about our problems, it's mostly just me bitching about a load of shit. <laughs> All right, so that's why I play Star Sector because it's more engaging, and we can we can watch me play good shit. Sally, <laughs> mate, come on. Your Rimworld depression streams, yeah. To be fair, I was I was speaking to my moderation team as I, as I do every now and then. I give him go and give him a load of fucking abuse. Um. I was thinking if if we do hit 100k next year on like subscribers on YouTube, I'll do a 24 hour stream. Who would like that? Who would love a 24 hour stream of your main man Ra? <laughs> Cause you can sit there. You know, I don't want to like you know get you too excited, but it means you can sit there and listen to me for 24 whole hours. Could you imagine the fun we will have as a community? I can already see you guys jumping for joy. Uh, that's a terrible idea, but for years, great for us. Still waiting for the 12 hour. Ah, don't worry about the 12 hour one. It's, yeah, yeah, it's just never going to happen. Uh, we wouldn't watch that. Oh, yeah. To be fair, last time we did a 12 hour stream, there was about. About five or six people, I think, watched the whole thing. And I couldn't believe it. Some crazy bastards actually sat there for the whole 12 hours and watched me and, and watched the whole thing. I was just like, you guys are psychopaths. Why? <laughs> exactly. To be fair, if I remember correctly... I was at, I was completely dead by the end of that stream. I ended up just sitting around and streaming a little bit of Tarkov because like, I'd played RimWorld for 10 hours at that point and I was completely fucking frazzled. I don't know. I don't know if I have the VOD of it somewhere. I might have to. I might have to upload it to YouTube at some point because it was a good. It was it was really really fun, but just those last two hours just completely destroyed me as a human being. Which makes me scared to think that if, if, uh, if I could do a 24 hour stream, because <laughs> I think that would completely, like, that would ruin me as a human being. I would have to sleep for like three days straight after that. Uh, right. I'm actually going to go and colonize somewhere, I think. I think the colonization game needs to come out now because, uh, I'm fed up of paying all this fucking maintenance for all my shit that I'm storing. And we've got a load of cool stuff. So, there's that uh, one planet that I want to colonize to start with. Let's grab all of my shit. And hit it. Actually, to be fair, I probably... Actually, no, I take that back. Maybe it isn't time for colonize. Because I want to find a terrain world, actually. I take that back. I'm getting you guys... I'm getting your hopes up too much. Don't pull back for a sec. I want to... I should probably find a terrain world first. And then... Go for that other planet. Let me see. Let's have a look. Uh, uninhabited. Class 5. I mean, there's a jungle world. 28 distance away. <laughs> uh, this was it. The Cairo Volcanic World. Yeah, but then everything else in this system kind of sucks. Unless we just go for a massive system with mining. Because we got a volcanic planet there. Mm. This planet is fucking amazing. Hazard rate. Oh, fuck. I've got to do it. Hazard rating of 125%. I'm doing it. I take it back. We're going for it. We're colonizing, baby. <laughs> the English is coming out. <laughs> it's in my blood to colonize everything I see. I'm sorry in my blood to colonize nations and exploit them for all their resources and then build a railway for them it's what i must do uh right it was over there or laying course right 
we've got the crew. We've got... Yeah, we've got the crew. We've got the supplies. We've got the money. We've got the fuel. We've got the heavy machinery. We should be good. Actually, we need... So, uh, transportonics. Uh, right, let's head off. Hi ho, hi ho, off to colonize we go. I hope it does have a secure point. Otherwise, we're not going to have a comms relay, and that's going to be very, very bad for us. Comms relays are OP, uh, and we definitely need one. Ooh, salvage. Hundred percent be there for the whole thing. Just need to case a monster in a fat stack of spokes. <laughs> nah, I'll be I'll be getting out the liter carton of coffee. That's uh that's where I'm at. I'm not really a big fan of like monsters and like that and energy drinks like that anymore. God, I sound fucking old, don't I? I don't really drink anymore. Don't drink energy drinks anymore. I sound like an old man. I don't touch that anymore, but in my younger days, I used to meddle in those sort of things. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, colonize this planet. Welcome to the club. I'm like an old man. I just fucking sit around and bitch about a load of shit nowadays. That's all I do. Um, right. Colonize. Uh, what should we call it? We'll call it... Uh, New England. Nah, nah, I'm joking. We won't call it that. Let's call it, uh, Mining Planet 101. There you go. Uh, well, we, I don't really care about all this. We'll just call it, like, Star Fed Mining Op. There you go. Is there anything with, like, a pickaxe in it? No, we'll just go for the wall. We are the Star Fed Mining Op. The first thing we're building. Fuck the, uh... Fuck the, uh... Little, little, little orbital station. We don't have the money for it. We're going straight away for mining. That's what we need. So... Oh, shit. I forgot to pick up my ships, didn't I? Yeah, well. We'll come back for those. Pick all this crap. Happy days. Right. Give me... Oh, I forgot... Give me... Oh, I need some... Ah, oh, shit. I forgot to get, a, like, some more metal as well. Hmm, we'll go over here. Kind of. <laughs> when you get past 20, it's downhill. <laughs> Too fair. <laughs> when I got past fucking 16, it was downhill. <laughs> Problem started then. <laughs> Nah, it is, it is a good meme though. I see. I just always seem to wake up every moment. Every time I wake up this morning, it's like something else is hurting. I'm like, oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> wake up, legs hurting. Next morning, wake up, back's hurting. I'm like, I'm 25. Why is this happening to me? I'm not old. <laughs> I'm not 30 yet. Uh, right. Oh, level 5 lieutenant. Fantastic. Give me that. I'm just going to scrap this tyrant because tyrant's kind of a bit poopy. Unless it's the Ludic Path tyrant or the Iron Shell tyrant. A little bit poopy. What the hell? Back to 80 viewers. Fat man relevant again. Big time streamer, innit? Big time streamer, baby! No, it's uh probably because I'm streaming Star Sector. All right, comms relay down. I'll build the rest layer. We got the important one down. 25 and already a cripple. Ugh. You know what? I feel like I just need to follow down the route of, like, what businessmen do and just snort a lot of cocaine. And then maybe I can do, like, a 24-hour stream. I just snort a shitload of coke before the stream. I reckon I'll be... I'll be able to do it. <laughs> Uh, right, we need some more crew just to get my ships topped up. Right, once that... Let's just sort of linger for a moment. Do the game of lingering whilst it builds up for a sec. 
I went to the gym three days ago and I'm still hurt. Uh, that just sums it up. That sums up. I'm meant to be joining a... Uh, so, like, a bunch of my colleagues or former colleagues from my old job who have all left now are uh, starting a five-a-side football team. And they're like, oh, you need to join with the, uh, like, uh, X, you know, company I used to work for. Come join us. That's And that's, like, what the team's called. And I'm like, I haven't played football. And I was sat there thinking, oh, probably, like, two years ago I left football. I was like, I haven't played football in eight years. Eight years was the last time I played football for a team. And I'm sat there thinking, fuck me. <laughs> I sat... Eight years, man. <laughs> That's almost double digits in thinking back in time, like... I'm not that old. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so, uh, more of the story. Your boy's getting back into football, so I'm ready to, uh... Go and play one match. Get fucking trampled on. Get, you know, seriously out of breath. You know, maybe give myself an asthma attack, even though I don't have asthma and uh die yeah literally and die <laughs> no I used, to, I used to be like reasonably good at football back back in my day um i was uh it was quite it's kind of I was a, it was a good center back you know for those that seen what you would seen why i look like i'm kind of a big guy so <laughs> back in my day <laughs> no i was all right at football it was uh like I said, I was centre back. I used to be the guy who would always be uh just just run at people and kick the ball all their shit. That was kind of my plan. That was my game strat, always worked. Nah, fuck that. I'm not I'm not about being in goal. It's not that's not a piece of me. Uh right, we also want to set this up as a free port, don't we, straight away? And set up some hazard pay. I know it's uh, it's going to cost me nothing, but we get that growth in. Hey, son. <laughs> no, your boy is uh, your boy's getting back into sports. So you know that probably means yeah, I uh, <laughs> child's going to be over soon. <laughs> going to die of. Gonna give myself a fucking heart attack after I start moving faster than walking pace. And uh, that'll be the end of the channel. <laughs> Alright, come on mining. Get built up quicker, please. We've got 25 days. We've got to wait 25 days and then we'll have the uh, mining station up. And then we should be making a nice chunk of change, to be honest. That is what I'm all about. Let me just check something. <laughs> I love it. I was just uh, looking at my YouTube channel. <clears throat> I was looking at my YouTube channel earlier. And because uh, I haven't uploaded anything recently. Uh, YouTube likes to send you like demoralizing messages uh, like viewers watch your content 48% less off often than usual from YouTube recommendations shit like that right the one that cracked me up was sub <laughs> was uh, subscribers chose to watch your content 96% left less often than usual after seeing them in the subscription feed I'm there like 96% less often <laughs> shit <laughs> but so what happens when you don't upload? By the way, new vid was really good. Sure you made it. <laughs> yep. I've... I, I made it. It was all me. I appreciate it that you enjoyed it. Thank you. But yeah, it, it was definitely all me. It was my video, my editing, my everything. Depression kicked in. Oh, I, 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 I would lie. A little cry in the shower, you know. It's what real men do. You tell everybody, you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. And then you go and go, go and cry in the shower for 20 minutes. That's what real men do. They don't cry in front of other people. You don't bitch about it. All right, four days left. Come on. Come on. 
Give me that money. And then uh, after that, actually, we'll build a way station stay away, straight away to get our access up. Exactly. There's nothing wrong with bottling up emotions and letting it all out at one time. Bonus points if you do it at a really inconvenient time. Uh, right. Okay, mining. So what I'm going to do is actually make improvements on the spaceport. Which will give us 20% more access. And then once the way station's done. Oh, fuck, I'll just do it now. Gives me another 20% access as well. So then access is basically the most important thing because, uh, yeah, more access, more money, more growth, more everything. Access is like the most important thing. If everyone looking for the pro star sector tip on building a colony, access trumps everything. Obviously, you've got to build some industries first, but you know what I mean? Like, if it comes to increasing production or increasing access, you increase access every time. Also, this is a class four volcanic world. Jesus Christ. This is this is this is that I am definitely gonna be the mining operation behind the Star Federation with just these two planets. Pressing emotions, the only true way of how <laughs> oh, yeah, I've smoked a I've smoked a few cigars in my life. I've, uh, I've, uh, my dad went to, uh, uh, Cuba and brought back a few. They were, they were alright. Not really a cigar kind of, I'm not really a smoking kind of guy. I never really got into the whole smoking thing. I, I really don't understand vaping, to be honest. Vaping just seems kind of shit. <laughs> like, what I mean by that is, like, people who started vaping who didn't smoke already because vaping obviously was just like originally designed to help people come off like nicotine right but for people who picked up vaping and don't smoke just kind of it's kind of cringe hey i hope you're doing well may you be win raw today and not lose raw may the force be with you it's free i might just drop to her well i appreciate the kind words i saw uh, i saw a news article um the other day talking about how like mouth cancer has rapidly increased since like this whole like the rise of vaping and i'm like i'm not even surprised it's like a shitload of chemicals which you breathe in right it's surely it, it, surely someone's gotta know it's not good for you your youtube videos on star sectors were so good i bought star sector two vids and i don't regret well that's yeah uh, thank you that's what i like to hear don't worry, I'll have more Star Sector videos out soon. I'm sort of working on an idea of what I'm going to do for the next one. I had this idea of doing like a solo super ship run. And I feel like that could be really, really fun. So that's it. You keep your, keep your ear out for that. Alright, I've actually made 54k there. Which is pretty, pretty good. Just need to wait for that access to go up. And basically, once this colony hits like level four or level five, uh, we should make a big old chunk of change. Oh yeah, we'll just do that. Uh, yeah, once it gets over, once it gets over colony level three, gets to four, and then we can get some fuel refineries down. We will make a fucking ton of cash. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Fool. Appreciate it. Uh, right, I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, whilst we're waiting for our plant to build up, let's have a little look around these systems up here, shall we? We've got enough fuel. We've got enough supplies. Let's head up north. Have a quick gander at these. <laughs> no, 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 no. To be fair, I think I've, uh, I think I've picked my ship that I want to do for this run. There's a, uh, there's a super, uh, 
there's um you know the rebellion ship in this game of the star federation there's a cool version of it or an orange version of it which is basically just completely based off the main boss i think of obviously ftl and it's so fucking good <laughs> so i think i'm gonna be doing that Uh, what is this fuckery? How do I see chat messages in the phone? Uh, I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know what I'm doing. Check out this metal, this artificial metal world, though. Shame it kind of sucks, but it's very cool. It's got widespread ruins on it, so hopefully, let's uh, see what the good stuff is. Okay, 346 lobsters. It, interesting. Yeah, I won't say no. Uh, but no, there is probably a slight delay on the stream. There always is. Hang on, everyone cares. Well, no cares, only the goddamn seat. <laughs> hmm. There's a crimson world here. That's very cool. Two cool worlds in this system. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, up the lobsters. They're the coolest shit in the game, right? Why has no one made a mod which is just a big ship, which is just a big lobster? You know what I mean? How cool would that be? And then like, you, 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 the, uh, the, the, the special would be like the claws can like, you know, attack a nearby ship and then you like pincer a ship. Why has no one done this? This needs to be done. <laughs> There needs to be, like, an entire faction that's, like, based around the lobster. Like, a cultist faction. They live by the lobster. They, 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 their whole premise is they're trying to rob the Sindarin of all their lobsters. Because they believe it's, like, the holy animal. Uh, right, this is a warning beacon high. Uh, I'm going to jump in and uh, YOLO it. Hopefully, we can maybe find some widespread ruins without getting murdered. We didn't call the frost. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, well, there's nothing there. That was a pile of shit. Supply cash. Yeah, we gotta lose this idiot. Oh! Oh! Oh god, they actually interdicted me. Uh, right, let's do the old. Let's do the old strat. Actually, there is no like, no asteroid fields or anything around here. I can't do the old bait tactic. But I can just outrun them. Yeah, this plan has some ruins on it. Boom. Ooh, sensor decoy. Eh? Just powerful. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Oh, well, not not interested. It's nothing, nothing super good. Uh, uh oh, that's not very cash money. That's not very cash money. Okay, we're starting to run into quite a few of them here. Oh, oh, mmm, mmm, mmm. I think it's time to leave. I think it's really it's time to leave. Oh fucking Christ! Ah, I'm, I'm leaving, all right? I'm going. I've overstayed my welcome. I'm out. What's that quote? I uh, I bust a nut, then I'm Audi. Hey, go! I'm, I'm gone. Gone. I'm out. Uh, right. Let's uh, <laughs> let's stay away from there. I think. <laughs> Let's go to Essex, apparently. So we got Manchester, Exeter, York. Let's go to Essex. What a fucking shithole that is. But we'll go over there and see if there's any loot there. Bro, I'll save story points to cheat. Mate, I'm beyond that now. I am too skilled to get caught nowadays. I don't even use my story points for those anymore. Evasive maneuvers. 
<laughs> I'm a professional. Shut up, Ember. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm a professional now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off, Danish. <laughs> Outrageous. I know your only thing here is to come in here and shout abuse at me. Uh, then again, isn't that what 90% of the chat's here for? Oh, dear. Right. Let's search up the rest of this system. Then hopefully my colony. Oh, look at that. 22 grand from just having mining on it. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. My logic is like, like I said, we're becoming the Star Federation mining operation. Oh, actually, it kind of rhymes. Star Federation mining operation. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm building up story points for them one day. I'll have something you can spend them on, and then you can be super happy. That's my plan, alright? I'm saving them so, like, when I want you guys to use them on something, you'll, you'll be able to. That's the big grand plan. And I definitely did not steal that from someone else's uh, live stream. Who said the exact same thing. <laughs> I can't even remember where your planet is. It's over there, isn't it? Yeah. We do actually need to get back because we are running a little bit dry on supplies here. Star Fed Mining Incorporated. Exactly. Something along those lines. Maybe that's what the maybe that's what this theme of this run can be, is we're actually gonna try and uh become the most productive mining industry in the game. Maybe that's maybe that's what this whole playthrough can be about. We will be the most efficient mining company in the... I was about to say in the wasteland, but, you know. <laughs> in the uh, in the galaxy. I probably shouldn't be flying through all the storms when I have uh, no supplies. But, you know, mama didn't raise no bitch. Play through where isn't you dying horribly? <laughs> Look, all right, this ain't gonna be a repeat of Jimmy Blade Breaker. All right, we're not we're not going through that again. All right, I can't, I, don't, I don't think my I don't think I could handle that again. <laughs> Jimmy Blade Breaker was just that just that just broke me. I don't think I can I don't think I can sit through that again. <laughs> Oh dear. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, nerds, freaks, and geeks alike, whatever the fucking quote is. I am gonna be ending a today's episode here because Well, yeah, I am. Because I have the power. <laughs> that's that's pretty much it. 